You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Beerus, the God of Destruction. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me, or else I'll hakai you from existence. Oh, and do make sure to watch the entire video all the way through. And to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. Whis, enough. On to the video. As the battle on Beerus' planet now continues to intensify with mastered Ultra Instinct Goku now having to step in against Super Saiyan God Kaioken Broly, with Goku tagging himself back in after having to follow the events of Vegeta vs Broly shortly after Goku had went down, with Goku now wielding his most powerful transformation and seemingly most powerful technique yet, is it possible for Goku to be able to stop Broly in his tracks before things get even more dangerous than how they are now, or will Super Saiyan God Kaioken Broly simply prove to be even even too much for Mastered Ultra Instant Goku to handle, and will ultimately result in Goku having to go down yet again just as he had done before, with of course Vegeta watching as Goku now is looking to make his next move, is it possible for Goku to now be able to finally put the monstrous Saiyan down, or will Broly simply adapt to Mastered Ultra Instant Goku as well, and be able to push himself even more in discovering a new power beyond what he has now? Now before we dive any further into this video, if you are new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, and want to be kept up to date with everything in regards to Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball Super Manga, and everything involving the Dragon Ball IP, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single video on this channel, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply stoked, ready, and excited to see what the future holds in regards to the Dragon Ball franchise. And with all that being said, I want to thank you all so much for your support, and let's dive dive straight into the video. As our story kicks back off with both Beerus and Whis having to observe Goku reigniting the power of Ultra Instinct against Super Saiyan God Kaioken Broly, and with Goku now reasserting himself in the fight against Broly, Beerus went on to comment, it took him long enough Whis, but there it is. Now let's see how well Goku can use this power against the beast. As Whis went on to respond, he certainly does seem confident that he will win. What do you think, Lord Beerus? Do you think Broly can overcome the wall that Goku is now and win? Or will he fall? As Beerus went on to smirk by responding, that brute is definitely giving them both a run for their money, but now that Goku has reignited the power of Ultra Instinct in its completed form, let's see if the Savage can survive long enough to evolve and win. And with Super Saiyan God Kaioken Broly having to await Goku's next move, Goku then went on to address Vegeta by telling him, I promise that you'll have your turn again, Vegeta, but Broly is simply too dangerous for us to let him continue this. We know where he stands. Now it's time I calm him down and bring him back down to reality so he can be at ease. He's too tense with Vegeta responding and what gives you the right to just step in out of nowhere? I wasn't finished with him and it was still my turn. I wasn't dropped by him yet as Goku responds, you know as well as I do that he would have eventually burned you out. Trust me on this. And besides, I never tagged out to start with, but then, Goku went on to then quickly realize that Super Saiyan God Kaioken Broly had then went on to make his move, and as he did, Goku went on to shout, he's coming Vegeta, listen, I promise you'll have another crack at him once we resolve this, but for now, just leave this to me. All this anger merged together with the Kaioken is really starting to affect him. To which, as Broly is seen attempting to attack Goku, with Goku having to dodge each and every single one of his strikes, Beerus then went on to comment, look at him move, Whis. It's remarkable to see Goku come this far ever since meeting him on Earth. And as the fight then begins to intensify with Broly trying to kick Goku, Whis then went on to respond, Does this mean that you are willing to finally get in there and spar with the Saiyan? It seems like you're very eager to get involved in this battle, with Beerus responding, In time, Whis. 
let's just watch and see how this goes. To where as we then get to see how Broly is then beginning to use the after image technique with Goku having to be locked dead set in the middle, Goku went on to respond, your speed is ridiculous for someone as big as you Broly. The after image, is it? The pace in which you are moving is insanely impressive, but nothing that I haven't seen be used in battle before. This power allows me to do things that I previously couldn't, heightening my senses beyond one's comprehension. There you are, Goku says. Gotcha! And with Goku then quickly being able to distinguish where the original was, in connecting a thunderous shot to Broly's stomach, Goku then went on to tell him, you are starting to lose the edge you had because you are getting angry now that you're losing. So it's beginning to affect the way you move, and with Broly then shown stumbling back, Goku then went on to continue, if it were not for the power I currently have, you'd shred us. But as great as you are, you have to know your limits before breaking them. If you still wish to continue, then we can continue. But just so you know, this fight is already over. But then, Broly was then shown not wanting to relinquish his position or give in to the battle against Goku as he went on to fire multiple shots by shouting Kakarot! Because even then, despite the difference in their power, Broly was still not giving up against Goku. And with Goku then shown having to tank and dodge every single one of Broly's attacks, Goku went on to then say to himself, he's going for Broly. Broke, which means he's getting desperate after seeing he can't manage to hit me. I have to keep the pressure on him in order to see this fight through. One wrong move and I could be in deep trouble. As Broly is then shown continuously blasting Goku, he then went on to shout, Running away will not save you, Kakarot! I will destroy you and destroy this power of yours! Do you hear me, Kakarot? As Broly went on to create this massive energy ball above him and tossing it directly at Goku, Beerus went on to notice this by commenting, I don't like this. Broly seems to be getting a little too carried away. If he does anything to wreck my planet, then I will destroy him without there being a trace of him left. Need I remind him his place, Whis, as only then out of nowhere, Broly's own attack is then shown being thrown directly back at him with Whis having to respond, I don't think Goku will allow for that to happen, my lord. Look. Goku deflected his attack right back at him. Goku seems to be very aware of the situation, as well as knowing if anything is done to harm this planet of yours that it will anger you, Beerus. With Broly then shown barely having to avoid his own attack, as of course he wasn't expecting for this to happen, and as it did through the other side, Master Ultra Instinct went on to speed blitz right towards Broly and telling him, your attacks can't do anything if your mind isn't fully connected to your power, Broly. And with once again Goku shown connecting another monstrous shot to Broly's ribs, Goku then went on to continue, that is the difference between us. That is the difference between my power and yours. You are supposed to be the one in control of your power, and not allow your power to go on and control you. And with Broly shown spitting out blood clearly hurt as he went on to hold on to his abdominals, Goku then went on to continue, you feel pain because you've allowed yourself to be left open for attack. You can't ever allow your opponent to find an opening, but then, Broly took initiative in going on to punch Goku directly in the face, and as he did, Whis went on to comment, my word, that certainly looked nasty. What a shockwave that punch just created as Beerus responds, what is that fool doing? Why did he just leave himself open for Broly to hit him when he just said never to leave yourself open? Wait, hey Whis, look. Now I see, with Goku shown unaffected by Broly's attack and having to look directly at him, Goku then went on to respond, you've worn yourself down by exerting the amount of power that you did. Without focus, without proper concentration, you are doomed to fail. I'm sorry Broly, but it's like I said, this fight is over, as Goku from there went on to once again connect a thunderous strike to Broly's stomach in literally having to rattle his entire body, with of course the gods further having to observe this, Beerus then commented, look at that punch, Whis. That Saiyan's body is completely shaken to its core. You can feel the atmosphere change with that strike. Well done, Goku. Well done indeed. And with Broly shown reverting back down to his base form, he painfully went on to comment, Kak... Kakarot... I... My power... I... I... Can't... I... No. And as quickly as Broly then went on to realize that he was beaten, Goku then went on to follow by punching Broly in the face and telling him, I'm sorry. But now that we all know where you stand, it's time to take a break so you can learn more about how to control this power of yours before evolving to the next level. Let this motivate you, Broly. Let my power be what you strive to achieve and surpass. Until then, I have to put you down. It's the only way. And as Goku went on to do this in knocking Broly right back down onto Beerus' planet, Vegeta then went on to comment he made it look so easy. 
How do you do it, Kakarot? You stopped him while still finding room to teach him, and you put him down without even trying. As of course Broly is shown hitting the ground, Vegeta then went on to continue, it's gotta be that ultra instinct of yours. You've trained yourself to use this without having its effects destroy your body like it did before. What do you even see in Broly that I don't? Surely he must see the danger he poses, so why bother to continue to help evolve a potential danger for us to face off with later? I have to find out why, Vegeta says, and to discover a power to rival Kakarot's Ultra Instinct. Maybe, just maybe, it's time that I too learn of these principles myself. Perhaps learning of Ultra Instinct is the key to my evolution. Well, your planet is still in one piece, we says, but it appears as though Broly isn't. That was impressive of Goku, with Beerus responding, yes, it was. It was, Whis. And with Broly shown lying on the ground within a massive crater, Goku then went on to address Broly by telling him, It's crazy to think that someone like you could get so powerful so quickly, but I have no doubt that with the right amount of control over your power, you will be one of the strongest in the entire multiverse. I had to call the fight early because I went on to notice that your rage was starting to get to you, and the effects of the Kaioken weren't helping either, especially if you weren't able to focus. I hope you understand that I had to do this. I honestly don't think that you'd be able to achieve a power like mine. Ultra Instinct requires the wielder to always be in a calm state of mind, but maybe you'll be able to control your anger in due time, and when you do, you'll no doubt be able to achieve power beyond what you currently have. It's just a matter of time. Don't beat yourself up for it, Goku says. Me and Vegeta also have a long way to go as well. We are constantly learning ourselves, constantly getting stronger and finding ways to improve. You did great out there, with Broly having to open his eyes and responding, Kakarot, what do you see in me? Why do you choose to help me? If I can't control my anger, why continue to try and help? What do you seek to gain from all of this? As Goku responds, an ally when we need it and a rival for me and Vegeta. There's something about you. Your power is raw and it comes from the heart. It kind of reminds me of Jiren, and with Beerus and Whis having to be shown arriving, Beerus went on to put the entire situation into perspective by telling Goku, Well, you didn't go on to destroy everything, Goku, but you sure did put on a good show. I will admit it was quite interesting to see, as well as this one. You did well, Barbarian. Although you still have much to learn if you ever plan on surpassing me, you allow for your emotions to take control of the battle, which never turns out in one's favor if that were to happen. I expect another battle between you Saiyans next time, as Whis went on to chime in, a rematch you say? Well, it seems like you really did enjoy yourself more than you expected, my lord. Your fight with Broly was impressive, Goku, but you still seem to be restricted by something. Perhaps it's the curiosity of Broly's power that was slowing you down. You all have much to work on before you train again. And with Whis then shown using his staff in healing Broly, Whis then went on to continue, all three of your displays have shown us both your flaws as fighters and your greatest advantages as individuals. You do have one point, however, Goku. Keeping Broly around and helping him get stronger would surely help this universe if the Omni Kings were to ever call for another tournament of power after all. And with Beerus interestingly grinning at Goku, he then went on to ask, so tell me then, Goku, do you think you are ready for another battle against me now that you're much stronger than you were when I first met you? Or do you think you still have some catching up to do before showing me what you can do? As Goku went on to respond, you know, I actually always wanted to have another battle with you, Lord Beerus. I never truly had the chance to see what you can truly do since you said that you were holding so much back against me. I'd love to see what you got, Goku says, but I think I want to help Broly improve a little more before we have our rematch. Either way, it's something Something I've been longing for against you, and this time around, I don't think you'll be winning. Not with Ultra Instinct around, with Beerus responding, That Ultra Instinct of yours will only get you so far, Goku. But just so you know, I'm not looking to hold back either. And with Goku then shown standing over Broly and having to extend his hand out, Goku then went on to tell him, You are awesome, Broly. Now what do you say we rest for a little before picking back where we left off? And with Broly shown smiling, he then went on to grab Goku's hand by telling him, Yes. Of course. You actually went on to use the Kaioken a lot better than I did when I first learned about it, Goku says. Not to mention seeing how well you managed to merge it with Super Saiyan God. But it was only then where Goku was interrupted as Vegeta went on to shout, And just where the hell do you think you can get off so easily after interrupting my battle? You may be done, but I'm not. And with Vegeta then shown standing behind Goku, he then went on to continue, It's been far too long and I'm not looking to walk away from this without putting someone down. 
and if it's not going to be Broly, then it's going to be you. So let's go, right now! Me and you, Kakarot! And with Goku then shown turning his head, he further proceeded to smile in addressing Vegeta by telling him, I should have known you'd want to continue. It has been a while, hasn't it, Vegeta? So, I see you're not wearing that earring that Beerus gave you a while back. So does that mean you fully mastered the power of destruction? Or is it that you've discovered a new form that goes beyond your blue evolution? Was that why you wanted to stay in the fight with Broly? And with Vegeta then shown powering up, he then went on to respond, Why don't you come and find out then, since you're asking all of these questions? I never tagged out, and I never asked for your help against him, Kakarot. So if he won't spar with me, then you will. Ultra Instinct or not, I've prepped myself for both you and Broly to always be ready for for any given situation. You'll take your little break once I'm done stomping you into the ground. You and your stupid Ultra Instinct nonsense. So come on! And with Goku then shown turning around, he then went on to respond, You're really something, Vegeta. I can sense something deeper within you. Alright then, let's have at it then. You've always been my greatest rival. No matter where I am or what I do, you've always been right there with me. Fine. Let's do this, Vegeta, as only then, the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of God Broly vs. Goku and Vegeta manga chapter finale then comes to a close. Now, what I really wanted to do with this story was I wanted to capture a different element involving Broly, and for the sheer fact of Goku bringing him onto Beerus's planet and asking Whis and Beerus to study him and seeing where Broly stands because Goku knows that Broly possesses tremendous amounts of potential not only for himself as an individual warrior, but he also possesses enough potential in pushing Goku and Vegeta in achieving new levels of power, and that in and of itself was the story that I wanted to tell, and that in and of itself was the narrative that was put forward in having Broly slowly but surely achieve new levels of power such as Super Saiyan God, and instead of having him adapt Super Saiyan Blue right away instead, Goku wanted Broly to kind of master and get the hang of Super Saiyan God first, on top of the fact that he also taught Broly Kaioken in having that now be stacked on top of Super Saiyan God, so in the comment section below what I want to know from you guys are three specific things that having to be number one let's just say as a hypothetical if Broly were to be brought on Beerus's planet and for all three of them Broly, Vegeta, and Goku to train how strong do you guys believe each of them would ultimately get if they kind of had this opportunity to all train at the same time question number two if Broly were to wield a hypothetical concept of Super Saiyan God stacked with Kaioken then how strong would a hypothetical Super Saiyan God Broly with Kaioken actually be by comparison to Goku and Vegeta and lastly, by the end of all of this, do you guys want to see an alternate story or perhaps maybe a continuation involving Vegeta, Goku, and Broly in the fact that towards the end it was basically insinuated by Vegeta that he wants to go on ahead and fight Goku because he never tagged out and this was his moment to shine against Broly, so do you guys want to see a continuation or do you guys want to see something different? So again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. If of course you guys enjoyed the story and want to see more of these awesome fan mangas, then be sure to do two things. That being number one, give this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below. Also, smash that subscribe button as well and turn on all notifications. That way you guys never miss a single video posted onto the channel. Tune back in for more. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for your time. And I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down the comment section below. Have a great day everybody and take care. Peace! And a quick little reminder before you exit the video, if you guys are unaware, follow me on my secondary channels which are also used to discuss and talk about all kinds of different subjects and topics including gaming and live streams beginning with Unreal Network which is a channel dedicated in discussing all kinds of movies, breakdowns, current events, scary stories, theories, and more. So if you are someone who is into the entertainment world then that's the channel for you, so head on over and subscribe over on Unreal Network which up next is Unreal Vlogs where I bring you guys a little closer into my life in taking you behind the scenes with vlogging content, parody videos, reactions, motivational videos, uplifting videos, and more. So if you want to get to know me on more of a personal level, then that's the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button to always be in the loop with Unreal Vlogs. And lastly, my gaming channel, Unreal Royale, where on that channel we dive more into the world of gaming, ranging from all different kinds of video games, from Dragon Ball to Resident Evil to Grand Theft Auto, Halo, Gears of War, Minecraft, all kinds of horror games, shooters, RPGs, and more. 
more, including live streams. So if you're a gamer and are into the gaming world, then smash that subscribe button over at Unreal Royale and experience the ride with me. I want to thank you all so much for your time. Thank you all so very much for your support. And I'll be seeing each and every single one of you in the next video. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe. And of course, I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unreal Engine gaming also follow on relent gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times and if you don't then very soon you will all be dead <laughs> oh did someone say unrelent gaming oh my god the fuck's up on put on some clothes well why don't you put on any clothes what i don't need clothes jesus christ that's huge <laughs> What, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! Boo, I'm a real gaming! But once you get video, all lots of likes! Or Boo will turn you to Jesse! Vados, get over here! Tell these mortals that I'm the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan! This is my moment! I'm a part of his notification squad! Universe 7 can have all the fun! I just want the food! And don't forget to leave a comment on this video! Show some love for the best community on YouTube! <laughs> K -k -k -k